Hi, Devlin here, and welcome to Misunderstood Movies. Before we begin, I remind people this is my opinion and belief. You can disagree with me, and please comment if you do or don't in the comments section below. But please be nice about it. We're all movie fans here, and that's what's truly important. So be respectful to all. Today I look at the case of Roar, the 1981 adventure drama directed by Noel Marshall. It stars Noel Marshall, Tippi Hedren, Melanie Griffith, John Marshall, and Jerry Marshall. The screenplay was written by Noel Marshall and Ted Cassidy. What people expected was a fun family adventure set in the wild featuring lots of amazing animals. What they got was a bug nuts animal activist film that is considered to be one of the craziest and most dangerous films ever made. Today I feature a film you may never have heard of, but is considered to be one of the most dangerous films ever made. Roar, a movie that started off as a love letter to wild cats and other animals of the world, but turned into a filming nightmare that is really intense to watch, and surprisingly entertaining too. Noel Marshall and then wife Tippi Hedren loved wildlife and decided to make a film to promote it, especially lions. They were so enthusiastic they even let their children star in it as well, who were just as excited. John and Jerry Marshall and Melanie Griffith, who would go on to become a critically acclaimed actress on her own, all would star in this family adventure film. What could go wrong? Well, Noel's enthusiasm took him a little far. He decided he wanted to use untrained lions so they would be more natural. Animal trainers warned him that this was not a good idea, and after hearing just how many they wanted to use, they were warned that you can't put that many untrained animals in one place without there being some real danger. Marshall didn't take their advice and decided to follow another person's idea of starting to stockpile lions and raise them and training them just enough. He faced many legal battles by illegally keeping so many lions, which continued to put filming off. He acquired a couple of tigers along the way and a baby elephant, too, and soon the script changed to include all animals. The title changed now to Roar from my personal favorite, Lions, Lions, and Even More Lions. His heart was in the right place, but his head was going off the rails. The process would take up to 11 years, and five of that was actually filming. Between the legal troubles raising these animals and the multiple injuries suffered by cast and crew from the animals, after all that, the movie saw limited release overseas and shelved for many years in North America. You may need to search to find a copy of Roar, but I strongly advise you do so. It is absolutely insane. A family who moves into a house just filled with lions and a few tigers. And everything you see on screen is real. Scratches, bandages, scars, and even maulings. This is not a snuff film by any means. The real injuries are not shown happening. But read into it sometime just how many people got hurt and hospitalized, including its stars. Still, the film keeps a PG rating. Noel Marshall had a vision. Sadly, it included not only working with untrained wildcats, but triggering them to make them do things which meant getting his own kids and wife at the time to run and scream so they would be chased. Now remember, this is a movie to promote wildlife, so the cats aren't portrayed as villains, just lions being lions, tigers being tigers, elephants being elephants. It's important to know the backstory before seeing this, so when you watch you, realize when a lion jumps at you, it probably wasn't scripted. And so even promoting animals, it still has an intense feel to it. The movie saw little success in Germany and Japan, but North America wanted too much of the profits, and Nolan Tippy wanted as much of the money to go to their wildlife charity organization. So they decided to vault it instead, and it became a box office bomb. It wasn't until 2015 that this film was discovered and finally got screened in North America. It started getting a cult following, too, from word of mouth. People couldn't believe the backstory and how this movie could have been hidden away for so long. The sheer brilliance of this film, after I finally got to see it, is even though I watched this in terror and uncomfortable laughs, Noel Marshall did exactly what he hoped to do. The movie succeeds in showing a positive light of lions, tigers, and other wildlife creatures. 
showing them just being what animals are supposed to be, animals. Roar is out there, and it is worth the search. This has become one of my absolute favorite cult movies of all time. Now let me know what you thought in the comments, and let's have a conversation about this movie. Are you one of those who got a chance to see it and thought the film was exploitive, off-putting, and hard to watch? Or are you like me and consider Roar a misunderstood movie?